Hi everyone! I am making this note at the beginning of this episode. As of me recording this little thing, it is January 18th, 2021, and I recorded all the episodes of Mystery on Hanging Helene in um, mid-December 2020. So I've been getting some comments asking, where is episode 8? And, you know, I, I could have sworn I posted episode 8, but then I looked back and I realized I don't even have the recording of episode 8. For some reason, I don't know if I deleted it. I don't know if I, it just didn't record. I, I don't have it. <laughs> and, okay, this actually happens again. Just a little warning. I think this happens for one of the later episodes where half of the recording is missing because <laughs> I don't know. It just, it didn't record for some reason. And then the other half is there. And I, I made a note at the beginning of that episode too. So you'll know when it happens. I just wanted to inform you of this because I am very sorry. I, it was like a stupid oversight on my part for not checking for that. But the fact that I don't remember episode eight, it, they say that if you forgot, it probably wasn't important. <laughs> I hope that's true because I don't remember episode 8 and I truly don't think anything noteworthy happened. So you didn't miss out on much. I'm really sorry. Technical difficulties are the death of me, it seems. But on with the actual episode because the notes for this are over. Please forgive me. Anyway, bye. Hi, welcome back to Mystery on Hanging Hill Lane, Season 2. Uh, this is Episode 16. We are very fastly... Is that a word? <laughs> Quickly approaching the end. My bad. No, 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 and no. And for everyone who didn't hear me, no. Children aren't allowed in there. Aren't you still technically a child, too? Hey. Listen, can you guys just start over and explain it to him again? Why is Ginger dressed like she's going to a funeral? All right, well, my parents... No, seriously, she looks like the long-lost Adams family child. All right, well, my parents can't stand each other, so I don't know where the heck my dad is right now. And there's no way I'm staying here and talking to my mom Why? <laughs> okay, Kaya. Well, my mom basically only exists when she sends money home to pay the bills. And my dad is probably dead somewhere. So it's just me and Kai, and Kai's scary. He's got, like, drugs lying out all over his room. I mean, the house smells like weed. Febreze! No promo! <laughs> Benji told me. I told him I didn't have anywhere to stay and he offered up your cabin. How does he know? <laughs> Is this funny? No, Chase, stop laughing. I. There are a bunch of sophomores living in, secret, in my secret cabin that they shouldn't know about. Because it's a secret for some reason. Is this because of the condoms we found in there? Did you use that? This is what I'm talking about. Do you want us to stop staying there? Yes. So badly. But you can stay. Really? Thanks, dude. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Just don't touch my stuff. Deal. Thanks for that. I didn't do it for you. And I'm sure you didn't. Just thanks. So, is that all you called me for? Um, yeah. Are you sure? I'll see you at the funeral. Oh! I was insulting Ginger's outfit, like, saying that she was looks like she's going to a funeral when she is going to a funeral. My bad. Oh, the, okay, th that was my bad. That was me being stupid. She is going to a funeral. Hey, can I ask you something? It's not going to take long. Chase is waiting in the Car? Car? Oh my god, I forgot he has his license. Sorry, what were you saying? So, I don't like have his... So, I don't really know how to come to with boy problems. So, I just wanted to know if you're okay with that. Sure, but I tried to warn you that Chase is gross. <laughs> I think I like someone else, too. We got some drama! Benji! Oh, no. He's so nice to me, and he told me that he likes me, but I said I was with Chase, you know? And I don't know what I should do. What do you think? 
Don't cheat. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so true though. Like, what do you say to someone going to a funeral? Like, good luck? It's okay? Like, <laughs> well, mystery on Hanging Hill Lane, season two. We're gonna play the story. Let's continue, my friends. My kind viewer watching this. Boop. And then click. Okay, we're 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 doing this. Who's that? It's Maddie! I mean, of course Maddie's there. I'll... I can all be seated. Wait, who's the, who's the shadow that person? Hey. Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, water, but I don't think they have any here. No way, it's water. They have to have some. That's what I was thinking, but I guess not. Hey, guys. Hey. 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 Have you seen the, uh, water? No, I don't think they... Hey. Interesting. Storm. This is not the time to be <laughs> pressing people about things. Like, can y'all just mourn? We didn't really consider her part of our friend group. Yeah, we didn't even know that she got the notes, too. All three of us just thought that Penn was Arya's photographer. She was weirdly obsessed with her, but everyone was so we didn't think anything of it. So, was she behind our game in notes, too? No, I don't think so. Rousseau, Gabe? He said that when Arya died, he figured out that Arya was behind your game and he was pissed about it. Really? I believe it. Gabe was always really complicated, just like Arya, and their relationship was weird. But if anything, they did love one another and would definitely do anything for each other. That's why when Ari found out that Penn slept with him, she was pissed. Pause. She what? Yeah, what is that? <laughs> so she did it to get back at Russo and drive him crazy, not you guys. You were never the target. She just did it to get back at him. That makes so much sense. She knew everything about us already, so it was easy for her to create the game. Why do you think Arya faked her death? No idea. She never told anyone anything. I'm sorry that you guys got wrapped up in this, but it was really nice meeting you. Yeah, you too. <laughs> no, seriously, Ginger looks like... <laughs> Ginger looks like her last name should be Adams. Ginger Adams. That should have been her name. Hey guys. I know it's been a while and I I just wanted to say I really miss you guys. I miss you guys too. I just wanted to apologize. No, we wanted to apologize to you. The way that we treated you back in high school was awful and you didn't deserve that. We all knew how you felt about Arya but none of us wanted to say it out loud. Regardless, you deserved better than her. I don't mean to be rude, but I think we all did. I just can't believe she's gone. Me neither. I thought that since we never saw her body, it's because her death was too brutal. But it's because she was alive? Are you surprised, though? It was Arya. Even in death, she still managed to live. Arya was a bitch. 
I hated myself the most when I was around her. She was manipulative. Definitely had a way with words, so I'll give her that. She knew what she was doing. But she did bring us all together, which I guess was the only good thing she did. Maddie! I like her now. She's like, she reminds me of Mona. She does. Now, before you guys get all judgy, mm, I don't think it's judgy considering you tried to kill us all. Oh, and kidnapped us. Don't forget the part where she tormented us for months. That's all in the past. Interesting, because it still feels just like yesterday. I can still smell the gas from when you tried to suffocate us in the garage. Well, I'll actually have you know that my doctor said that I'm so much better than when I went in. So they let me go. What type of crackhead is that? Doctor said it was okay for you to go. Shouldn't they have sent you to prison now? Thank you. Oh, would you guys like a cookie? I want a cookie now. What are you writing? I'm emailing your doctors as your supervisor. She's made excellent pro- So she hasn't actually gotten better. Okay. I can actually kind of believe that. She has made excellent progress, and we strongly believe that she is good to go. There's no need to talk more about this, so let's not try to let's try to not mention it again. Put it behind us for Penelope's well-being, and you're free to go. Can you guys just give me a chance, like the doctors are? Wait, so if she wanted to be let out of the the ward, then there has to be a reason for it. So she's probably not good. So she's probably gonna pull some crap. So I should not like her just yet. I'm sorry for what I did to you guys. I was so wrapped up in Ari's... Wait, so is she being sincere right now? Or is she putting on a front? Like, I'm so confused. I was so wrapped up in Ari's vision and what she would think about me if she could see me now. I wanted to impress her, but come to find out she's been alive this whole time. I realized that I don't need to, imp to try and impress her or have her like me anymore. She never cared about me the way I cared about her, and it wasn't fair. So I'm sorry that I dragged you guys into my mess. You just happen to be the people I chose. And I, did I say chose? I'm going nuts. I swear. <laughs> I can't. I don't know what I'm reading anymore. And there's nothing else behind it, really. Have a good rest of your day. <laughs> Storm. Don't tell me that you. <laughs> yeah, I feel like she's lying. A little bit, though. Because, like, why would she have Clayton get her out of the ward? She could be telling the truth, though. Hey, can I ask you something? Shoot. Not, like, literally. Why did you sleep with Officer Russo? Very good question. You still call him that, knowing that it's not his real name? We still call you Maddie, considering. Fair. Gabe was the closest I could get to Ari in that way. This keeps getting weirder and weirder. Okay. <laughs> we were at this college party that I snuck into, and I was pretending to be someone that I wasn't, I guess. A more confident version of myself. I just wanted to have some fun for one night. We were both really drunk, and then things happened. I heard what you guys said over there as I was leaving. And I just... Thanks for believing in me. For sure. You needed help, and I'm glad that you got it. Oh? By the way, thanks for not telling me that Clayton was in town. That's kind of cute that they hug. You know, why can't we be friends... Maddie's going to be like, she's going to have a redemption arc. I'm calling it now. I don't know if it's a little late to start redeeming her, but, you know, you never know. Thanks for not telling me. What is 
happening? He escaped. He probably isn't. Beep, beep. Hi, could you check and see if Clayton Parker is still in his cell? We have reason to believe that he escaped. All right, sorry, thanks. Good. So, um, we haven't really talked since, you know. Yeah, I... Buzz, 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 buzz. It's Officer Russo! Don't hit him. No promises. Ginger will be pissed if you hit him in this funeral. Mm -hmm. Hey, Barry. Hey, guys, what's up? Well, I'm pretty pissed off right now, Barry. So what do you... Do you want to know why? Oh. <laughs> she killed me? Yeah, because it wasn't a she who killed her, it was a he. Who's that? Who is that? Who are sweats to funeral? <laughs> that is very true. Funeral etiquette, guys. Don't be too casual. Put on a nice dress or some dress pants or something. The gammy master. Oh no. What's happening? And that's it. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. I can't tell if Maddie was being sincere or not. I feel like she was, but then again, you never you never really know for sure. So, bye. I will see you next time. I will move on to the next part. Closing this one off. Later.